This is the third coop I've built in a span of about four years. And I decided to take a tour of it the day before we left Indiana for Missouri. And you're looking at the nesting box and you can see the U-Haul truck in the uh, background there. The nesting box faces the south side and the feeder you see there faces the east side. And there's a little window there to allow a west to east airflow. This is part of the run of the chicken coop. It is basically wired up. It's about four and a half feet tall, maybe. And that's a water that I use to um, basically give the chickens water from the outside and never have to go inside if I don't really want to, except to clean it out. And the front door opens up and hello, chicken. Of course, the chicken's been shy now. Uh, we've just got rid of our rooster, so. You can see the scratch mark on the back of that chicken. And this is the west side door. It allows me to uh, clean out the chicken coop. And there's a raccoon trap on top of the roof. Just because there's um, raccoons killed off about maybe six of the baby chicks I had. And the clean out door here. And the inside is shavings, wood shaving. That's about five inches of wood shaving in there. There's the feeder from the inside view. This feeder is uh, specifically designed to minimize waste by chickens. If you ever have chickens, you know how much food they just pluck out with their uh, their beaks, the way they shake their uh, beaks left and right. And the perch is about three feet from the bottom. And this coop is about four feet long by three feet wide. So it's a pretty small coop. And there are the three nesting boxes you can see from the inside. And this coop is constructed of probably 85% or more from recycled material. My landlord at this time had a barn full of old uh, used wood that he had saved. So he said I could use whatever I needed. So uh, Most of this is recycled. You can see by the hodgepodge of sheet metal and various materials there. But the plywood I think I had to pay for. So the nesting box here, there are three boxes. You need about one box for every three chickens. So the maximum this thing will hold is about nine chickens. And that one has gone brooding. So it's July of 2016, and it's been about 13 months since I last shot that video. And we've built our new chicken coop. And this coop is made of almost entirely new material. So one of the limitations of using recycled material is, well, basically design and size. But this, Without any limitations, I was able to use uh, new material to build the coop that I wanted to build. So it is much bigger and is much stronger. It is at least tenfold better than the previous uh, than the previous coop. We are currently have a couple of residents in the coop right now. Uh, where was I? Chickens can be distracting. Um, all right, so we're probably one. Well, we're one nesting box away from completing this particular coop. And if you've been following me on Twitter, you know that nesting box is almost completed. So, uh, over the next couple of um, videos, I think I'm going to show you how to, how I built this one from scratch, and how to think about design, and how to build your own chicken coop if you're interested in something like that. So I hope you'll join me for that.